Like, what are you doing? Your your statistics is showing you you're not doing well. You say you want to get to 50k with your quotes page, but you're here not posting. You gotta post. You're saying you want to grow GBT to 5k, but you're not posting. Like, w w what are you doing? <laughs> Hey guys, what's poppin'? It's your girl Tawana, aka T, whatever you want it to be in the day, and I am back with another sit down video. I know I haven't been here for a while, but I've been enjoying my vlogging content, and I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna start bringing more vlogs. So, first of all, I want to welcome all my new subscribers because in the past like week, I have gained like 20 new subscribers and i am so grateful because my goal was to hit 60 subscribers at the end of march but we are well on our way to hitting 80 subscribers so thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and if you guys don't know who i am my name is tawana and i'm your favorite construction babe who's also a productivity babe who's also just trying to figure out her life and find the perfect work balance for her while sharing that journey with you guys you know what i'm saying and i also have a graphic design business slash video editing business so i kind of show behind the scenes in that as well whatever you guys are interested whether you fuck with me fuck with my job fuck with my graphic design business definitely subscribe to the channel because we're going to be bringing content on this channel weekly so like i said thank you for subscribing to the channel today we are going to be talking about my 12 week year template and how it's helped me to stay on track with everything i've got going on and achieve my goals if you guys haven't already read the 12 week year then what is you doing go get that book and read it or if you're an audible person check out audible maybe spotify or even youtube many of these platforms offer these these books in audible i prefer reading books because it kind of sticks in my head more than an audible i feel like sometimes when i listen to an audible it's kind of like music kind of goes in one ear and out the other however if you guys have read the book 12 week year it's basically about getting rid of the annual goal setting mindset and focusing on a 12 week setting your goals based on a 12 week year mindset which is why it's called a 12 week year so we're going to kind of dive deep dive into my template which is on notions and how i've been able to basically track my template see where i'm slacking see where i'm doing good and kind of kind of keep a system in place and monitor my goals and you guys will get a sneak peek as well of what i'm trying to achieve in this first quarter and how it's basically going because on my 12 week year we are on week 11 i've got one more week left and then it's the week is done even though it is called the 12 week year it does have the week 13 which basically is the week where you review everything you basically assess your your strengths your weaknesses where's the room for improvement what you want to still work on what you don't want to work on did you hit the goal did you not hit the goal etc 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 but i am going to do a full full review on the book and if you guys are a bookworm like me and just love these kind of books self-help books all that kind of stuff subscribe to the channel because i am going to start doing just a casual book review and just basically talking about the book what i would give it out of 10 the key things i took from it and the key things that stood out for me and etc 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 so if that's what you're interested in then definitely subscribe to the channel because i will this will be my first book review so let's kind of dive into my template and see what my 12 week year template on notion looks like if you guys are interested in this i will offer it as a template and the link will be in the description box if you guys have any questions please feel free to comment in and i'll get back to you before we dive in please terms and conditions like comment and subscribe as always and let's dive into the video okay so this is the home page of my 12 week year and you guys can basically see these are the goals that i'm looking at for this first quarter and these are the breakdowns and like i said we are going to go through this template right now we have other sections up here and all these kind of things some things we're going to maybe blurred out just for privacy obviously because it is my goals this, this these are real goals but i will share generic things with you guys as soon as you come into the 12 week year you are going to have a life audit a vision board and an aspirational ideas so let's dive into the life audit so basically what you want to do in this section is basically audit all the areas of your life and give them a scale out of one to ten this kind of helps you to break down on the areas that you need to focus on the areas that you are happy with say that's a relationship your job say you're skyrocketing in your career then you might not want to focus on that as much however say for example you want to like learn a new skill set you want to work on your um, content creation your youtube channel not doing as well then you could prioritize those so i feel like this kind of helps you to categorize your life areas in levels of importance so kind of what i've got here is all my life zones as you can see i've got my graphics business business gpt designs i've got my physical health i've got my other business which is digital products quotes lounge 
YouTube's and then spirituality, career, relationship, etc. etc. You guys can see them all here. And I've given them all a rating. As well as giving them a rating out of 10, I have also provided a priority level. So this can show me also where like where I need to be focusing on. So all the low ones are basically the ones that I don't really want to focus on right now. Like they're low priority, like they're doing well right now. I don't need to focus on them. But where's like high, high is probably like areas of concern. And I feel like I've based this on anything that is below five is like below like, like one to four is basically basically a high priority because like why are you that low you below average i don't like that and then medium is probably like between five to seven i would say even though like seven is not average but it kind of giving me that medium kind of it's not that bad but it's not great and then obviously like eight to ten is kind of like top tier like i'm ex like i'm exceeding in, in this area of my life and it's going great don't we need to focus it on now right now we can put it on the back end and then obviously i've also put it on i've also categorized it based on type and this is kind of what you guys will get as well you'll get to categorize it in the same way you guys won't have these air life areas however you will have the standard ones like physical health career relationship finances mental health habits routine society hobbies and skills those are kind of like the generic ones you get in this whole week here however you can add on anything in your life whether that's youtube you've got a business content creation instagram tiktok whatever just add it in that's kind of where you want to start off with and like i said this will help you to prioritize what you need to focus on in this 12 week year so you will go back to the home page and then you have a vision board so this is my vision board for 2024 i'm actually not shy to show it because it is my wallpaper this is my vision board for this year and underneath that you will also have your goals broken down into sections i'm just going to close all of these because these are none of your motherfucking business you will then have um your overall vision board at the top here where you just insert an image you will have it will say upload image in your in you guys's template but it will basically look like this you upload the image i created my vision board on canva and if you guys want to see how i do that i do have an older video but it's two years old and i probably wouldn't even create like that if you guys want an updated video, video on how to create your vision board and then i can get that done for you it is spring it's the time of new blessings and new beginnings so if you haven't created a vision board this is the perfect time to create it just saying so then after that you break it down based on goals so you've got your personal goals your content i got content goals you might not have content goals business goals finance goals whatever so we can just look at a few of my personal goals because i don't feel like that is nothing for me to hide and if i do want to hide them i'll just blur it out so one of them like i said to you earlier is to read 12 books this year slash audiobooks i did put audiobooks because which i might even change because i tried the audio thing on the train and stuff and i just get easily distracted that's just me personally but if it works for you it works for you so do what you gotta do i want to read 12 books this year i also want to get a new car i want to take two holidays i want to find a new hobby which i feel like i have found by the way because my hobby used to be graphic design but, but now that i've made it into a business it's not really a hobby anymore she want to find and make new friends within my niche so i want to find friends in the construction industry i want to find friends in the content creation industry i want to find friends that like are interested in lifestyle health wellness you know glow up all that kind of thing i really want to go on coffee dates am i the only one that wants to do that <laughs> well i want to do that so if you guys are interested in that you need to be following me on my social media and let's become friends because i thought that's what we was anyways and then also like i said here go to go to cafs for weekends to do work so one thing i realized about me is i work better in a an environment of work when i work from home because i've made my environment so comfy i don't get work done i procrastinate a lot or i delay it off to the last minute i don't want to be like that i just want to get stuff done but like when i'm in a working environment i'm surrounded by people who work i get stuff done i'm exploring that free option paid options and kind of seeing what works best for me yep i want to build my dream in this setup i also want to upgrade my dress scene which i've started already like i said it breaks each of your goals down in each section so say if you get 2025 now and you've got a whole set of new goals you can always go to 2024 and look back and see like okay cool this is my goals this year this is what i've done you can cross them off and then now you can it can help you to basically navigate and what's focused on for the next year and that's kind of why i like it and it's in its own little pocket like it's not all over the place it's neatly tucked away in 2024 so when you start a new year you get the exact same thing again and like i said absolutely love it either vision board also gets broken down into monthly views which is grouped into quarters so this is q1 and i like to create vision boards for every month because my yearly vision board is literally for the yeah. however in order to achieve that which is where the 12 week comes in we gotta break it down and we gotta really figure out like what we are going to prioritize in this month and this is where my monthly vision boards come in so if we take a look at january i've got like skincare i've also got like my youtube 
like one day i've also got books i've got date nights because obviously me and my boyfriend are working towards going on more date nights and i've got gut health making more money i've got calf you know coffee dates i've got matcha because i'm a matcha babe and i want to stay, start making matcha from home and then like i literally I, you get a quote for the month you get to put in and then literally these are all my monthly focuses like i said this is linked to other stuff like my weekly reflection weekly journals but for this for for your template you won't get all of that you would have to create a whole separate da database for that and link that in but you will get monthly focuses so these are what all the things i focused on in january and these are all the things that i achieved so i found a new hobby so i told you guys i'm gonna do a i think it's called paint something can paint sip and paint or something like that where you basically sip on some little bit of wine <laughs> So I found that and I kind of want to start doing that once a month. Improve my gut health. So I start, I, I literally invest a lot of money into my gut health. I started buying probiotics. I started getting daily washouts. I cut down and cut out certain stuff that I don't eat on a daily basis. I cut a lot of takeaway. I also bought a supplement. I think it's from Free Soul, Mango Flavor, to help reduce bloating and stuff like that. Like I really invested into it. Similar with skin routine. In January, it was mainly figuring out what I needed to focus on and what products were best for my type of skin before investing all that kind of money, which I did. I start posting on YouTube. YouTube, which you would have saw if you go to my channel my first upload was in january and to post consistency on my graphics page and i did it because it shows so that's kind of like why i like the vision board because it helps you to look at your goals holistically and break it down which is what the 12 week year is about so after your life audit after your vision boards we have aspirational ideas and this is basically where you want to break down your aspirational goal like your aspirational vision like a detailed vision you see how i twitched it like a detailed vision of how you want to be in the next five three one years time you get a button here where you basically get to add a letter to yourself and you basically write a descriptive bullet points of where you want to be what you want to achieve in the next year three years and five years if you want you can even do 10 years and then this is the letter i've written to myself obviously this is bled out because this is very private but i went in and that's kind of what you gotta do you guys gotta go in that like, you gotta be so detailed like when i mean naming the cars the specification of the cars i was just talking about my daily routine what i do monday to friday what i do in the weekend i was talking about what i was wearing my my, my, my what my house looks like not flat house what my house looked like with my husband everything i literally went in and that's kind of how you've got to be so this is what all this page is about you guys can change the banner this was like a banner given from notions i kind of liked it so i kept it but on your template you feel free to change any all of these as you please so now we get down to the nitty-gritty so before i talk about this fella here we are going to focus on this bit here because this button is related to this so as you can see we have a drop down box so everything in that drop down box comes from this button here so instead of you having to make this whole database yourself with all these like progress bars all that good stuff you literally just click the button and it does it for you and that's kind of why i like notions because you can make it once and then you can just duplicate it again and again so when you're 12 here it's finished you press the button and you archive it so you basically just click the drop down box and oh there's no archive in this one i will make sure on the template there's an archive you basically have like something like this we'll say archive and you will literally just drag it and drop it into archive i wanted to start a new one i would literally drag that into archives and bring this code and then i'll go to my archives and my first 12 week here of the year is already there now let's get into the nitty gritty the, the real thing you want to see so first of all in your 12 week year you it says 12 week year and then you list the month that you're starting in the year so if you're starting january february march well they're gone but april may june july whenever you guys see this video and you guys want to start this that is when you put the month and you put the year if you want to be more specific you can put the date but the month and the year is good for me and then underneath that you basically basically put a quote anything that motivates you anything that's hit home for me ceo of getting things done because my keyword for this year is consistency I feel like that resonates with that of being consistent because i'm going to be a ceo of getting stuff done like no hesitation and this 12 week year template is going to help me to do it the first thing you're going to see is your goals this is your goals database and this is basically where you add the goals you want to focus on so mine is a bit more complex which yours won't be because mine is linked to my goals database However, I have included a goals database at the bottom so you guys can use that. So yeah, you're basically going to see all your goals that you're focused on for this 12 week year. As you can see, my goal one is working towards my goal of hitting 1000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed, then what did you do? And to get monetized, which is spot wrong. My goal two is to like hit 5k on TikTok in terms of GBT and also hit on 3k, which is in the GBT area. I then have improved my gut health and skincare, which is part of my physical health. And then I've got really 
read 12 books which is about my habits and routine and then i finally got my last goal which is to hit 50k on tiktok because my quotes lounge page is currently on about 16 and a half k and i hit 1k onto instagram i started instagram late that's kind of why there's a big difference in those two however those are my goals for this 12 week year so it will say goal one it will say the goal that you're working towards and then it will basically relate it to the area which we spoke about and previously and then at the bottom we have an overall progress bar so this is an average progress bar of all of your weeks basically so it basically gives you an average of how you're doing overall and in the 12 week year it says you basically need to be getting 60 percent or above to be working on a decent level but if you want to be great you need to be on like 70 percent so as you guys can see i'm not doing that great maybe because it's my first 12 week year but i have hit a couple hurdles and i realized certain things are not working and that's changed and blah 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 but on average i'm on about 40 to 50 percent with quote signs being the shit is at 23 percent however that is the part of the process and that's one thing i want to say you guys are working towards something allow yourself grace for something you've never done before this is my first 12 week year and as much as the book says you need to be like in the 60 to 80 percent range to be working towards your target it's your first time and the book even reminds you that when you've never done something before you are you, you are gonna slack but the main thing is you get up and you continue to keep working towards it and i feel happy with that i have not given up on any of these goals even when my percentages have gone to shit so after you see your goals at the top what you're working towards we then break them down goal by goal with tactics so this is kind of where it gets a little bit interesting so we then list tactics so in the 12 week year it basically says each goal to achieve it what do you need to do in order to achieve for example if we're going to focus on my goal of reading 12 books a year how are we going to achieve reading 12 books this year i've put read a chapter every day because i would say that like, read for 30 minutes but i feel like chapters is more easier for me just because i haven't read in a long time i didn't want to give myself an unrealistic goal and that's another thing that realistic goals so i made it realistic for me we didn't one chapter it could be short in one book it could be long in the next i feel like one chapter is enough for me every single day and it's work because i'm on my second book and i'm about to finish that book if i stick to my routine of reading every day i will finish the book on sunday which is ready for the new month which i will start my new book for april and then once you've kind of broken those tactics down you then relate it to the goal so that's how this will track your overall average because your tactics that you're going to be doing will be related to your goals after that you want to put how many times per week these goals are because some of these goals are not going to be every day like for example my one of my goals is to post one youtube a week so that's one times per week whereas like i want to read a chapter every day that's seven times per week so it also allows you to select how many times per week you want to focus on this goal and if you want for yourself you can select days i select days because obviously i'm more of a like organized productivity kind of person so i kind of just need it helps to remind me what days i need to get these stuff done and that will also then resonate with my calendar and my to-do list and blah 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 so selecting this will sync up to this which will sync up to that what i mean by that is when you select three times a week if you look at this first one it says three times a week if i select three 100 percent if I select four, it goes over. So do you see, like, this is why this is so important because it helps to basically calculate your overall goal. So for example, so if I change this to now, say I wanted this to be seven times a week, if I only take three, I haven't reached 100% because it's now been changed and registered at seven days per week. So for me to get 100%, I would need to take this off every single day. Do you see why Notions is so powerful? And are you guys also seeing that whilst I'm clicking these, that my percentage for my YouTube is going up? So while I say this is, look, I've unticked it because in this week, I didn't post any YouTube shorts. However, I've got three tactics in order to help me towards getting monetized, which is to post three, post YouTube shorts, post a YouTube video every week, um, every week and promote on my social media. Those are my three goals in order to contribute to me getting 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and to get monetized. So if I tick these off, can you guys see up in the corner that this percentage is going up? Let me show you a little bit more. Can you guys see? So the more I do, the more my average goes up. And it, and that's that's the beauty of this. It's calculating the average. And if, if I take all of these back off, it goes back to my original school. And that's why I love Notions because it does all the calculations for you by a click of a button. And that's why you guys need to get something like this yourself. So if you look at my first week, but that's meant to be on zero because if you look at my first week, this was my first time ever doing it. You guys can see I did not get a lot done. I didn't post any YouTube short. I didn't post a YouTube video. I didn't promote it. Like, however, I do really well in terms of graphic design because I was so on graphic design and I had a lot of clients at the time and I was creating content and then at the time when I started 12 week year I didn't have an, a night routine that was suited for me so it was all over the place so none of these were ticked off either and 
I was taking my probiotics, which was good. I'm meant to drink two, two liters of water. Didn't do that in my first week. So you just gotta be honest with yourself. Cause even if you lie, which the book says as well, you can lie. And statistically you see yourself as someone who gets stuff done, but your life will show you the results that you're not getting the stuff done. So there's no point in lying. But if you look and see, like I had a, I had a, I had a shit week. My week one was not great. Like in week, 11 you can see this is the current week that i am on and i changed my goals from just generic statements like post a youtube video to i will post one youtube video because it makes it sound like it's a doing like it's an adverb like you're actively working on that now and it's actually made a difference to be honest so this was monday we are on wednesday so we can kind of review um tuesday together so i did post a youtube short i did promote my youtube channel i promoted it on my snapchat i did not post on gbt because i've been so overwhelmed with client work i haven't had the time to create content and it's the same with instagram i'm just being totally honest i haven't posted on either platform and i would like to get content scheduled out for this week however it's not guaranteed because i'm going away with my boyfriend if that happens i don't know but the goal is to get it done and prioritize it which is why i say give yourself grace because like stuff happens and you can't control external factors my paying clients are more important than creating content for graphic design just i'm just being honest complete my morning routine i did and i have a step-by-step -step morning routine that i follow do 1.5 um liters of water i actually didn't i only touched the leah yesterday i was supposed to drink one more and i totally forgot because i was doing video editing and then complete my night routine yeah once again i've got a step-by-step -step night routine which i didn't have in the beginning which was causing my score for my gut health like my health to be very very low because i was still figuring it out based on my timetable and my workload of a full-time job and a business but now i have found the perfect night routine that suits me and i'm able to get up early and also get my stuff done i took my probi pro bags and my vitamins and i did read yesterday and i did not post on my quotes lounge page and that's because quotes lounge is going through a bit of a rebrand because i really want to take my digital products on that page to the next level and i want to take it more serious i was first posting quotes just for fun on there but to see how it's actually helped people and people in my comments and how they've reacted it's made me want to take it a little bit more serious if you guys want to know more about my um my page then i will drop a video on that as well and yeah so i haven't and that's just this is the real truth and you guys can see my scores and what i'm working on but yeah that's kind of how the weekly stuff work and then after that if you kind of want to look at your stuff over a quarterly basis you can so i kind of made two viewpoints so what these are is viewpoints so if you prefer to view your stuff in, in weekly quarters so every four weeks then this view will be better for you because you'll have your week one you'll have your week two you will have your week three you will have your week four etc etc it's just easier to review it like that and same with week five to eight five week six week seven week eight do you get it so that's kind of more of a monthly overview of everything and this is the back end system so you guys don't delete this because as soon as you delete any of these your whole system will mess up and your template probably will not work or it will mess up in some kind of area so i will put a notice on you guys a template that do not delete because it's very important that that stays there to keep this whole thing work and yeah that's just kind of how it this is kind of what you guys will get with the template i've also with your goals so these are active goals you can can also view you complete your goals to say if you hit one of these to say if i hit 1000 subscribers tomorrow good win you can tick it off as it's been completed and then it will go into your completed goals i've also got view by status so you can see like which ones you're actually working on which should be all and then this is just a table view just a, this is just kind of like an easier way for me to process the information you guys don't have this view because it can get a bit complicated but you guys will have the first three and yeah that's kind of what you guys will get also with each week you're probably thinking like okay cool how do i get each week in so in this view it says by week so this is where you will see by week by week and i will show you guys now you need to go to this view to write out your tactics and then duplicate it so i'll show you guys now so you just want to like highlight all your goals so as you can see week 11 is there but i'm just going to duplicate it for week 12 just to show you you go to these three dots and you click duplicate so now the 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 one we just duplicated is now gone below and you basically will just write here week 12 that's done and to make sure that it falls under the category week 12 you want to select week 12 so what you do is you'll select week 12 here and then you just want to drag it down until you get to week 11 and then there you go so now if we go back to our by weeks page we will see that week 12 has now popped up and is ready for us to start taking our stuff 
clear empty and ready to go and it's literally just that simple once you guys kind of get the hang of this template you guys will be using it efficiently i like to review my stuff at the end of the day or first thing in the next morning and you don't have to kind of figure out what it is once you have finished the 12 week year like i said you literally just click this button it will probably take a bit of a while because it's got a lot of like information in it if you click that button it basically duplicates that whole template again and you just basically set your, your new goals you put every all your information in look there we go so you've got 12 week year mm for the month and yy for the year so you just literally put that in and whenever you are whatever month you're starting this in and then you open your drop down box obviously with this one it's it's showing the same goals as mine however yours won't show that because mine is linked to a separate database but your databases will all be in there and it'll be standard and then look you write your quote here this active goals will look like this when you have duplicated and then you guys will have to add it in and once you kind of start filling everything in that's when the that's when you will see the power of notions and how powerful it is and linking all of this stuff together chef kisses so yeah that is my 12 week year template and kind of how i've been able to stay on track with my job with graphics with quotes lounge but at the same time whilst not being so consistent in some areas and do you know what what i like about this is that it helps me to get back on track so when i see like like for example i haven't posted for two days on gbp i feel like shit like realizing that right now so i'm gonna make sure i schedule some content out for this week same with quotes i feel like shit that i have not posted for two days so it kind of like brings it back like it kind of like a g check like, what are you doing your your statistics is showing you you're not doing well so this is your goal this is what you're working towards so why are you playing games and that's kind of how i feel like right, right now why are you playing games you say you want to get to 50k with your quotes page but you're here not posting you gotta post you're saying you want to grow gbt to 5k but you're not posting like w w what are you doing is it making sense one plus one is not equal in two is equal in minus four right now the math is not mathing you know what i'm saying yeah that's another reason why i like the 12 week here it just kind of helps you take accountability with yourself um but yeah so this is the end of the video i hope you guys found it interesting in how i took the 12 week year book and implemented it into my life through a lively tracker and if you guys are interested in any other areas of my life or what other notion pages i've created for myself that you guys would want because if you guys look at my list this is my list it used to be a lot longer but i feel like combined a lot of things together but this is my list so if you guys are interested in any of these pages or you guys just want to know a little bit more how to create this from scratch and how you can learn how to learn like notions then comment that down below and i would definitely get it down for you like it took me months of obsessively learning notions i think i took like three to four months of like watching it every single day like my boyfriend would come home and he would see me watching notions before i go to sleep first thing i wake up i was watching so many different creators and learning how to like learn about the buttons and new features and literally i was obsessing over it and that's the thing when i want to learn something i obsess over it like that big time so if you guys want me to just simple it down for you guys and you guys can just learn little lip nips and tricks and any of that kind of stuff then i got you just let me know in the comments so yeah i'm gonna love and leave you guys once again thank you for tuning into this video like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye